The word of God says that the older women are to teach the younger. That's what the word of God says. And so, yes, I come on and I do teach the older, the younger. Um, whosoever will, the word of God says, whosoever will, let them come. Yes, yes. Okay, Tony, Tony, you watch me, okay? <laughs> Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, Alexa, will you repeat, play my song again, if you don't mind? Alexa might play and she might not, because Alexa do what she want to do sometimes. See? See how she see how she tripping? Alexa, play my song, Encourage Yourself. You know what to do, Alexa. Playing Encourage Yourself from your library on Amazon Music. I think she don't like to hear my song. She don't want to hear me talking about Encourage Yourself. I think that's what be wrong with Alexa. Because it don't want to do what I ask it to do sometimes. No, Alexa don't do it. Okay, I'm still setting up. I have everything to set up. Um, except my main this restreaming, and we'll work on that after I get all of you set up. But I have everyone pretty much set up for today. Don't Praise you know God. Gave you eyes to see the dawning of a, this new day. So encourage yourself. Encourage yourself. Encourage yourself in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. You can't encourage yourself in the blood of God. In the blood of Jesus. God didn't shed blood. Jesus did, but God was in the embodiment of Jesus. You can't separate. Just ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. Sparrow, and they don't have to worry to eat. He told the fishermen to catch the fish. The word of God said, don't get caught up into uh, vain babbling and, and arguments. Well, it's all vain. There's no need in doing that because well, I'm not going to go your see. way. You're not going to go my way. But we can agree to come together in unity of agreement. We can agree to disagree. Amen. We can agree to disagree. Okay. Praise God. I do too, Tony, Tony. I do too. And I'm looking for my crown. Looking for my crown too. All right. This is live me. Set up live me. All right, we got two live me, so let me turn my light on. The winds and the waves begin to tall and glow. They seem to try to conquer your soul. Reach out and tap into faith. Encourage yourself and run this race. So encourage yourself in the blood of Jesus. Encourage yourself. Now it is worth all right, now, where are my glasses? I don't have my glasses in here. Oh, well, not by sight, for you cannot see. Okay, I'm looking now behind my gadgets that are all set up, trying to set up my computer. So if y'all see me looking at all, it's like, what is she doing? I'm setting up my computer for uh, my restreaming. So I have everything else set up here. But on my restream set up. Um, right, the righteous. It says the right if the righteous scarcely make it in, what you think about the sinner? Think he gonna think he got a chance, Tony? If the righteous scarcely make it in, what do we think? What chances? For the man to know he's shown us, at least we trying, Tony. At least we trying to make it in. You know what I'm saying? Praise God. Okay, today is Tuesday. Uh, April 27, 2021. And there you will know he's a will in the middle of the will. You'll know he's always beside your head still. You'll know he never leaves you. He's always there. You'll know he's there to lead and guide you. You'll know. 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 Encourage yourself. Now, let me see if she's going to repeat. Supposed to repeat. You repeat, please. Repeat my song. Alexa, I'm going to unplug you if you keep having an attitude. Will you repeat my song, please, Alexa? Hmm. Hmm, that's what I feel. You hear Alexa say, hmm, you hear that? Alexa, play my song, Encourage Yourself. Repeat. Playing Encourage Yourself from your library on Amazon Music. 
Did you guys hear? Did did y'all hear that robot thing say hmm? Did you did y'all hear it? Did you hear it? Just hmm. Say he woke up this morning. Um, and Tony, you are one hundred percent correct. You are one hundred percent correct. In this world that we're living in, they um ten commandments. Help um, they, took, they took the Bible out of school. They took the Bible out of school years ago. Oh, who was that? Mad Mad Mod, Mad Mod, somebody took the Bible out of school. So therefore, they can no longer teach you, "Thou shall not steal, Thou shall not kill." All of those things, yo. They, the people didn't want their children to learn that stuff, so they took it out. They took the Bible out of school 35. Hold on, you guys. Hold on, hold on. Okay. 34. Okay, I got it. I'm trying to get my computer set up. Just a minute. Just a minute. I'll be right with you. 24. 15. 33. 33. I don't have my glasses on, so that's one problem. And 35. Encourage yourself. Encourage yourself. 35, 1 through 12. Okay, looks like 34. Okay, looks like I have it. Okay, we are Smurf, S-M-R-F. Smurf equals... Seven minutes read family. We are a family of seven minute read people that come together every evening, seven o'clock, just to hear us read. Seven minute read where I read seven minutes every day. Y'all ain't got time to read, I read to you. That's my job, trying to get the word out every day. So you do not have to read. We are the fastest growing ministry on the internet. That hey, Sister Diane, I see you, sweetie. To net that. What time is it? You early, girl. You early. I know. I got all my gadgets up, and I've been speaking to different ones on different gadgets. Speaking truth and currently setting up the restreaming one right now as we speak. I thought I was coming on early because I've been sluggish today. I just ain't been my chipper self today. I've been just kind of off. I've been kind of sluggish. Ooh, now you, you can see better now, can't you, Diane? After I got my chicken grease off the, off the lens. Um, Good Rock Obama gave us transparency. If you can't cook or repair things with the right tool, you got a problem. Yes, Tony. Yes, Tony. Handsome. Hello, how are you, handsome? Handsome is as handsome is as handsome does. Do you do handsome back there behind that screen? Praise God. I hope you do. Praise God. Okay, so I should have everything set up and wrecked to go. On restreaming, I plead the blood of Jesus over connectivity because restreaming be messing up on me. In the name of Jesus, we're going to pray it's going to be okay. In the event that one of these various freestanding uh, platforms, well, not the freestanding, the freestanding ones are okay. I just found out last night, I was talking to somebody over here, and this is what I, I show all the time because to me, it's forward. To me, it's forward. So this is what I've been showing. And then they told me that it's going to be this way. This is the way. Now to me on the screen, when I look at this, it's backwards for my eyes. But because of the way that the, the broadcasting or whatever comes through my phone, I guess because the my phone is reversed in order to do the broadcast, I guess. I don't know. So I just do both of them. I'll do both of them. This is who we are. And this is what we do. We are Smurf, Seven Minute Read family, Seven Minute Read followers. I just have some Seven Minute Read 
faithful people. Faithful. Hear me when I say faithful. They just come every evening at 7 o'clock. I don't care where they are. They be at dinner. They be out fishing. They be at the sea. They be wherever they are. I got one baby been following me since she was 13 or 12 years old, Shay and Kaya. And they just about grown now. They grown. But one of my babies is 17. She's 17. Been following the whole time. And then they, she'll wake up late, get on the broadcast. I'm sorry, Mom, Pam, I was late. I'm like, baby, I'm glad you're here. A 17-year-old, a youngster can be doing a whole lot of stuff besides sitting up here listening to somebody read a Bible. Nowadays, a whole lot of devilment they can get into. But we thank God that we have faithful followers, faithful children near and far. We, we have little Christopher in um, Chicago who, with his grandma Wendy, has been following us for years. They come on, they come on, and if they don't, they look at the replays. Many people don't come on live. Many of my followers, I don't see them live, and I say, Lord, where they at? They don't, Diane, I said, they quit, they don't quit coming, Lord. They don't come no more. Just be the faithful two or three, the two or three. And then I go back later whenever I get an opportunity. I don't do it too often because my job is to be here in my position at this time at 7 o'clock ready to read the word of God. And whosoever will, let them come. Whosoever will, let them come. And if nobody will and they don't come, guess what? Hello, successful loser. You successful because you're back, but you ain't no loser. You ain't no loser. When you gonna change your when you gonna change your name? Change your name. You ain't no successful loser. Just change your title to successful. I am successful, not a successful loser. Because you ain't no loser. You may have been in the past, but you smurf. So because you smurf, you ain't no longer no loser. <laughs> Who is this mind freezer? Mind freezer? Your mind is frozen? Well, I'm glad it can get unfrozen today when you listen to the word. Okay, I'm over here talking to my folks over here on this side. Praise God. Diane, you're not, I know Diane didn't laugh at me. That was Cheryl Kaya. I know my sister didn't put them little smiling tear coming out their eye faces on the side of the screen for Mama Pam. I just know that ain't my sister. I ain't going to believe it. Can't nobody have me believe my sister would do that to me. <laughs> Well, Tony, I tell you what, sweetie, we're going to leave that answer between you and God. Because frankly, I could not care how many gates are in heaven. All I know is the word of God says that a child of God will scarcely make it into heaven. I'm not concerned about the gates. I'm not concerned about the streets that's paved with gold. I'm not concerned about any of the goings on. I'm concerned about living right now in this present day to please God. Because I know in the end, whatever heaven is going to be like, it's got to be better than it is here. But I'm going to enjoy life here while I'm here and not put my focus and my mind on going to heaven. Because I'll figure out what heaven going to be like when that time comes. Because I'm going to heaven. I know that. But as far as how many gates and how many golden candlesticks and all that, I, that's, that that's none of my, I don't worry, I don't, put, I don't study all that stuff. Because the word of God tells me, Tony, let me tell you, and let me, I'm talking ministering to somebody on Tango right now. The word of God tells me that there are two scriptures. They asked, they asked Jeff, they was trying to hear Jesus up too. They was always hanging around, what about this? What about that? But, to, but Moses and his people said this. And these folks, oh, it's always somebody who wants to contend with what you're doing. But this is what the Lord has given me. You could take this Bible. You can take it. What about the Bible? What about the Bible? You can take this Bible and throw it in the in the trash. And you can burn it up if you just stand on two promises. Two of the promises. Matter of fact, they asked Jesus. They said, which are the greatest commandments? What's the greatest? They was always asking. He'll be here trying to hem them up. See if he answer right or wrong. What is the great commandment? What is the great commandment? And the Lord said, well, there's two. And the second is just like the first. It's likened unto the first. Well, the first one says, to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And then it says, the second one is almost like the first. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. 
If you love your neighbor, Tony, as you love yourself, you love me, regardless of what. You love me if I'm gay. You love me if I'm straight. You love me if I'm black. You love me if I'm yellow. Or you love me if I'm blue. Because I'm your neighbor and you love me. He says, love your neighbor like you love yourself. So if you love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and mind, and then love your neighbor like you love yourself, you can throw this in the fire. Because as your neighbor, loving your neighbor, I'm not going to put my knee on my neighbor's neck. I'm not going to shoot my neighbor in the back. I'm not going to be over crowds and trying to get my neighbor's husband to shimmy up next to my neighbor's husband. I'm not going to steal from nobody because I don't want nobody to steal from me. See how this thing is going. So if you do just those two, you ain't got to worry about the whole rest of the book. You really don't. If you do those two things, you're guaranteed a, a righteous seat with the Lord. If you're loving on the Lord, you're doing what he called you to do. You're walking upright before him. You're not bearing false, false witness. You're not trying to hem nobody up or, or trap somebody. You ain't trying to get the 50 million question answer. You just love on people. I love on people where they are, even if they believe like me or not. I still love them. They don't have to believe like me. They don't have to believe like me. But when you, hey, Linda, God bless you, baby. Bless you, precious. God bless you. Praise God. But when you come on this platform, this is not a platform for, for debate. This is not a platform for Bible study. This is not a platform for arguing the Bible, whether Jesus is God or whether God is Jesus or who is God or what his name is. This is not what this platform is for. This platform is for you to look up beside a gray-haired woman's head that's just about 70 years old that loved the Lord with all of her heart. Hallelujah. I love the Lord with all of my soul, and I love the Lord with all of my mind. My everything belongs to the Lord. Yeah, I do. And then I love my neighbor like I love myself. I help anybody's body that I can help if I can. Whatever somebody's trying to do, I try to break off a little piece of change and buy their book, buy their CD. They need some money in Africa or wherever. I try to send a little something over. And I ain't got much. I'm on a fixed income like most of us are. But I try to extend love. I try to love on people. I try to love on everybody's body. So if we all would do that, if we all just get along, this world would be a much better place. As Tony said, the world is in a terrible situation because it's void of God. We are living in a world that's void of God. When you talk about God, they shut you down. They censor your platform. If you say too much, they'll shut you down. I've been on some places. I, I came to Reddit. I joined Reddit and Reddit shut me down for something. They said I did something against their rules. What is their rules? No profanity, no cursing, no this or that. And you go on all these platforms. They say it on all of them. Because I'm on many of them. I'm on big old tango. Now you meet me, live me. I'm on all of them. And they say all that. And they do all that stuff. They be booty naked. They be Lord Jesus. Oh God, it's a mess on these platforms. But all I do is come and try to share to you about the goodness of Jesus. Hey Jessica, I see you daughter. I see you. I try to come on here and share the love of Jesus and read the word of God to you. And then you want to go want to condemn and and, and, and try to hit me up with some questions. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Praise God. All right, let us pray. Let us pray. Flapjack, yes, I am. Praise God. How long have I been broadcasting Flapjack? I've been, I have been started broadcasting about six years ago. About six years ago. So I've been on one, on one, <laughs> one platform. And over six years, God has blessed me to be on 22. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you right now, Lord Jesus. Oh, we love you. 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 Hallelujah. And there is a name, hallelujah, that I love to hear. I love to sing his praise. It sounds like music in my ear. It's the greatest name on earth. And it's, oh, how I love Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love 
Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. I love you, oh God, Jesus, because he first loved me. Lord, you love me so much that you sent your spirit down into the body and to a body. You prepared a body. And that body's name was Jesus. And so now that's the name that we are to use that's above every other name that's named. It's all kind of names out there that they call you Abba Father. It's all kind of names. And you are our Father. But the only way you have an ear, an intentive ear, to hear what we have to say to Abba Father, we got to call that name Jesus. That's just the way you set it up. That's the way you orchestrated it. And that's the way I use it. Based upon your word, that's what I do. So we thank you, Jesus, for this being a another day that you have made wherein we can rejoice and we can be glad in it, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for sending ears, listening ears from the north, south, east, and west, sending your sons, sending your daughters to hear the engrafted word of God, that the word may become live and active in their lives and come alive in them, and that you would speak to them and you would make the scriptures plain unto them. My job is to read it. You called me to read the word of God. And that's what I come here to do. Simply to read the word. Nothing more and nothing less. Praise God. I enjoy myself while doing it, oh God. But that's what you have called me to do. So I thank you that I take my call and, and my position very seriously. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. I got to be. I don't care how I'm feeling. Whether I'm feeling like being here or not. It ain't got nothing to do with my feeling. It got to do with what you asked me to do. And I thank you, oh God, that I take it seriously. I take it very seriously, simply reading. And I call it an honor to be able to read the word of God. And I could consider it no small thing that I'm able to read across all these different platforms all around the world. All around the world, half of the platforms that I'm broadcasting on are dating sites, oh God. But they come, and they come with humility, and they come with respect. After they find out what we're doing, then they come with ears to hear, not to be looking for flesh. Not to be trying to find a woman and trying to find a date. But they run across you, Jesus. And when they leave, they begin to think on you. Think on the words that little woman was reading. God is good. Let me quit complaining. Let me be thankful. Praise God. Let me be thankful I ain't got no woman. Or let me be thankful the Lord gonna send me a woman. But whatever situation we are in, therein we find ourselves content. So Lord, we thank you that you live and you move and you have your being inside of us by way of the Holy Spirit which Jesus left when he left and went back to be with the Father. He said he would leave you a comforter that would live inside of us. And we thank you that we have invited you to live inside of us, your Holy Spirit. Now, Lord, we thank you that you have given us a, a spirit of discernment. You've given us a spirit where we can see behind a thing. We can see behind what someone is saying. We can see the intent. We can see the motive behind what is being said. And Lord, we see that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but it's against principalities. That's against powers. It's against the rulers of darkness of this world. And they call his name evil with a D on the front. Put a D on the front of evil and that's his name. And we ain't calling his name. You know, they're out and about now, Lord, calling these people's name, keeping it ever in front of your mind and ever in front of your conscience. But we ain't going to call his name and give him no strength and give him no credit because he is just D and evil. Y'all put it together and you know what I'm talking about. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Oh God, I thank you for continuing to heal me yet time and time again. However many times I'm afflicted because many are the affliction of the righteous, but you deliver us out of them all. No matter how many times I'm afflicted, you keep on and keep on healing me. And I thank you. Lord, I ask that you look, look upon your precious son Mahash over in Nepal who went to try to take care of the elder uncle, just somebody he met. We called him uncle, but he'd been taking care of him, taking him food and had clothes made for him and, and takes his little money and buys him medicine. Whatever he get blessed with, he runs and try to see how he can be a blessing. Lord, look up on Mahash and everybody connected to him that are children of the Most High God. Keep the coronavirus away from them. As they have shut down the country, he can't even get home because coronavirus is all over Nepal, all over India, oh God. Would you take care of Mahash? Would you take care of our ministering brother in India? Would you take care of the ministering family in Pakistan? 
And then, oh God, take care of us here at home because Corona ain't went nowhere here either. It may come near our dwelling, but it can't get us. We are hidden under the shadow of the Almighty. So we don't have to live in fear. We live in faith. But you did say for us to stay inside until this thing be passed. We don't know what the thing is, but it ain't passed. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you all the praise. And I do call it time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Sister Linda. Thank you, Sister Linda. I see you invited the broadcasters. Uh, Flapjack. Let's see who Brother Flapjack is. Okay, I'm following you, Brother Flapjack. I'm following you. Please come back. Please come back. Praise God. Before we go any further, let's see if I need to. Anybody say anything? Do I look like all, as they say in church, all minds are clear. <laughs> Mentally wise is on here. So all minds are clear. Mentally wise. Meet me here. You ready? You ready to receive Jesus? Just meet me here because he's ready. He's ready for Jesus. Huh? Glory to your name. And then we got Turf Bow and we got Ab Aaron Namber. Praise God. All right, let's get into our read for today. Today's read is for Jessica. Jessica, how you what you doing over here? And who's the face? Is that your father? How your father doing, girl? How's dad? We ain't heard for you in a while about dad. Is that your father's picture on your on your on your little thing there? Yeah, Jessica usually shows up on Instagram, so I'm shocked that she's over here on Facebook. Praise God. All right, so today is Wednesday. I found my head of myself. This ain't no Wednesday. Slow your roll, girl. Slow your roll. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. I am on Instagram. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't push live. You're not alive. I did that yesterday. Jessica, I did the same thing yesterday. Thank you for coming over here. Let me know. It is now. The face is my grandfather. Okay. Anza, Anza day. Okay. Daddy, too. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm excited. Because her father's doing good. We pray and we believe and we receive. So her father's doing good. Her father was threatening a heart attack. He's a little bit up in age, a little bit. Um, but them babies are praying for him too. They say, uh-uh, they don't want great grandpa who got the beard like Santa Claus. They don't want him to go nowhere. And so he's still here. We don't know that God, hey, um, PKJ Foots, I see you, sir. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, yesterday I did a whole broadcast and I'm telling the people on Instagram, good night for, for thanks for coming and, and looked up there. And, and when I went to click it close, it wasn't even on. So it's on now, Jessica. Thanks for letting me know. See, we're all helpers. I can't do this by myself. I cannot do this broadcast by myself. I need helpers. And God hands me helpers on every genre. God send me helpers. All right, so today's read is for uh, Tuesday, April the 27th, 2021. Right, right, right. Moses, that's what she called it. Jessica's uh, daughter calls her grandfather's beard Moses. Now you see they godly. You see she come from a godly family. This baby, could this baby call it Moses beard, not Santa Claus? See the world say, oh, he got a beard like Santa. No, he got a beard with a wisdom like Moses. When Moses came down out that mountain, Lord Jesus. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let's get into the read. Today's read is for Second Chronicles, the 34th chapter, the 15th verses. Josiah, little boy, was made the king at eight years old, and he came in doing what's right in the eyes of God. His father was Manasseh. He was evil, but this baby came out doing right. Little baby. See, even little babies know right from wrong. They know right from wrong. So let's see what's going on in the kingdom with Josiah. Verse 15, chapter 2 Chronicles, the 34th chapter, verses 15, reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, and Hilkiah answered and said to Saphon the scribe, I found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah delivered the book to Saphon. Oh, this is the, this is the, the piece that this blessed me right here when they read the book. And Saphon carried the book to the king, the Bible, that they had at that time, it was the Bible, and brought the king word again, saying, all that was committed to thy servants, they do it. And they have gathered together the money that was found in the house of the Lord, 
and have delivered it into the hand of the overseers and to the hand of the workmen? The, then Shaka, the scribe, told the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest had given me a book. Ooh, the Bible, the book. And Sephon read it before the king. He did what I'm doing. He read the book. And it came to pass when the king had heard the words of the law, he rent his clothes. And the king commanded Hilkiah and Ahakim, the son of Saphon, and Abdon, the son of Micah, and Saphon, the scribe, and Asiah, a servant of the king, saying, Go, y'all go, inquire the Lord for me and for them that are left in Israel and in Judah concerning the words of the book. And we done found. I'm reading all this book. Many of y'all ain't never heard of the Bible. I ain't never heard all this stuff I'm reading. Praise God. For great is the wrath of the Lord. Don't I be telling y'all that? Isaiah 26, 20, 21. Isaiah 26, 20, 21. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is poured out upon us because our fathers have not kept the word of the Lord. To do after all that is written in the book, Lord have mercy, Jesus. I got to do this, y'all. I got to, got to run over here real quick. I'm sorry. Let me de let me run over here to Isaiah. He said, because the wrath of God is poured out. Isaiah 26 and 20 says, come my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors behind thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Right now, Corona and everything else, killing folks, everything for behold, the Lord cometh out of his place in heaven to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. For the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her sin. God's wrath poured out right now in this season. Oh, Lord Jesus. Because his people didn't keep the words in the book. And because we, because we, United States, America, the world, because we ain't doing what to say in the book. I see you, savage love. I see you. I see you, baby. I see you. I see you. Woo, this is some good reading. Verse 22. And Hilkiah and they that the king had appointed went to Huldah, the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tikba, the son of Hashra, keeper of the wardrobe. Now she dwelt in Jerusalem in the college. There was a college in Jerusalem. And they spake to her to that effect. She was a prophetess in a college. Praise God. They spoke to her to that effect. Okay, Jessica, I see you on here. I see you on here. And she answered them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. Congratulations on a level up. Okay, praise God. <clears throat> Thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Tell ye the man that sent you to me. Thus saith the Lord. Behold, I will bring evil upon this place and upon the inhabitants thereof, even all the curses that are written in the book which they have read before the king of Judah, which these United States was founded upon the words, the readings that's in this book. Because they forsaken me, United States, we done forsaken the Lord, and they burn incense unto other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore, my wrath shall be poured out upon this place and shall not be quenched. Lord Jesus, and that, that's where Second uh, uh, Chronicles 14, 14 and 7 come in. If my people, if my people which call by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their hands? Then that's the only way can we turn away. So we got to do that. We got to turn from our wicked ways. Okay. And as for the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of the Lord, so shall ye say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel concerning the words which thou hast heard. Because thine heart was tender, and thou didst humble thyself before God when thou heardest his words against this place and against the inhabitants thereof and humblest thyself before me and didst rent thy clothes and did weep before me. I have even heard thee also, saith the Lord. He's merciful and he will forgive those that's worthy of forgiving. So behold, I will gather thee to thy fathers and thou shalt be gathered to thy grave in peace. Neither shall thine eyes see all the evil that I will bring upon the place. These people see in America, way years later, you ain't going to have to see it. It's going to happen. And upon the inhabitants of the same, so they brought the king word again. Then the king sent and gathered together all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem. 
And the king went up into the house of the Lord, and all the men of Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the priests, and the Levites, and all the people, great and small. And guess what he did? And he read, Mama Pam, and he read in their ears all the words of the book of the covenant that was found in the house of the Lord. And the king stood in his place and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to make his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart to keep, to keep his commandments with all his heart and with all his soul to perform the words of the covenant which are written in this book. And he caused all that were present in Jerusalem and Benjamin to stand to it. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem did according to the covenant of God, the God of their fathers. And Josiah took away all the abominations out of all the countries that pertained to the children of Israel and made all that were present in Israel to say he made them. Like then they made you serve the one and true and living God and made all that were present in Israel to serve, even to serve the Lord their God. He made them. And all his days they departed not from following the Lord, God of their fathers. Ain't that a wonderful thing? Thank you, Savage, for sending the broadcast request. Thank you, thank you for all y'all do. Thank you, thank you. So chapter chapter 35. <clears throat> now moreover, Josiah kept a Passover unto the Lord in Jerusalem, and they killed the Passover on the 14th day of the first month, and he set the priest in their charges and encouraged them to the service of the house of the Lord. And said unto the Levites that taught all Israel which were holy unto the Lord, Put the holy ark in the house which Solomon the son of David, king of Israel, did build. It shall not be a burden upon your shoulders. Serve now the Lord your God and the people and his people Israel. And prepare yourselves by the houses of your fathers after your courses according to the writing of David, king of Israel, and according to the writing of Solomon his son. And stand in the holy place according to the divisions of the families of the fathers of your brethren, the people, and after the division of the families of the Levites. So kill the Passover and sanctify yourselves and prepare your brethren that they may do according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And Josiah gave to the people of the flock, lambs and kids, all for the Passover offering for all that were present to the number of 30,000. And three hundred bullocks, these were of the king's substance. And his princes gave willingly unto the people, to the priests and to the Levites, Hilkiah and Zechariah and Jehiel, rulers of the house of God, gave unto the priests for the Passover offerings, two thousand six hundred small cattle and three hundred oxen. Coniniah also and Shemaiah and Nethaniel his brethren, and Hashabiah and Jeel and Josabed, Chief of the Levites gave unto the Levites for Passover offerings 5,000 small cattle and 500 oxen. So the service was prepared and the priests stood in their places and the Levites in their courses according to the king's commandment. And they killed the Passover and the priests sprinkled the blood from their hands and the Levites flayed them and they removed the burnt offerings that they might give according to the divisions of the families of the people to offer unto the Lord as it is written in the book of Moses, and so did they with the oxen. May the Lord add a blessing to this super, super exciting word of God to you, the hearers, and to me, the reader. Wasn't this powerful? Wasn't this a good read? It showed me myself. God called me to read. Just read the word, Mama Pam. Just read the word, and I'll be pleased. So I'm pleading the Lord. I'm pleasing the Lord. Just read it. And guess what, Linda? And Savage Love over here. Guess what? Y'all pleasing the Lord by coming to here. How about that, Jessica? And Diane? And Jessica, Jessica. I got two Jessicas. Jessica Elliott and Jessica Pedraza. How about that? Just coming to hear the word of God being read. What a blessing, Shay and Kaya and Christopher. What a blessing. And Wendy, who's not here. Just coming faithful, just to hear the word of God, to hear it. And it got to, it, I know it's making a change in your life because you can't continue day in and day out, year in and year out.
to hear the word of God read and it's not something going on on the inside, a transition going on the inside, that closer walk with the Lord, just a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus is my plea. Day walking close to thee. Let it be, dear Lord, let it be. Because I am weak, but thou art strong. I don't know the rest of Jesus. Keep me, Jesus, from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as you walk. Let me walk close to thee. Just a closer walk to thee. That one of my old songs, y'all. That one of my old, old songs. I done forgot the words too, just about. See them good hymns, them old songs, they do. The young generation is letting them die out. And those are the songs that kept us, that we was able to, to stand, stand, stand. Stand on the word of God. Praise God. Those old songs are what kept us. The old songs, they keep me. Because I still hear them. Amen. Praise God. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for the little stars or whatever you're doing over here on Live Me. Thank you for everybody at 726. I mean, I got y'all in and got y'all out. So now that we're at the end of the broadcast, let's do a little teasy tiny teasy tiny discussion. The word of God says, stay inside until this thing be passed. Now, little brother Brown, whatever brother Brown, Whatever he was doing, we don't know if he was doing drugs, selling drugs, using drugs. Whatever he was doing, if he was committing a crime, then they had a right to to get him and have him go through the penal system to find out, right? Everybody's supposed to have their day in court. But did he deserve being murdered, shot in the car? It took him so long to get the tape out because they only showed 20 seconds. They didn't show everything that went on. They say seven more Tapes, the cameras that they got, but they ain't want to show a little bit because they got to edit. They got to slice it and place it and, and work on it so they can see what they're going to show us. But see, God know Behind the scenes, God know what's going on. God is looking. He is booking at you shooting somebody in the street, holding a, a phone up to their head, which you think is a gun. Okay, it's nighttime. I got that. It's nighttime. You can't tell. You the officers scared for their little lives too. But 10 times, you got to shoot them 10 times. Come on now. How many bullets do it take for somebody to be dead? Because you know y'all shooting to kill. So y'all stay inside. Stay inside. Now we don't want to, we want the uh, police needs to be reformed, but we don't want the police to go nowhere. What we gonna do? Who you gonna call when people do things? If you can't call on law enforcement, but they're supposed to be on your side. They're supposed to be on your side. So, <laughs> Excuse me. Let's pray for America. Let's pray for what's going on in this country. Pray for the onslaught of evil that has been sent out against people of color. It just ain't safe. Yet. And it's it not just people of color. Okay, let me break it down. I got two minutes. Did y'all see the video where they broke the white lady's arm? Because she supposedly stole from Walmart a Candy bar, soda, and a blouse, something. And okay, she was stealing. Is that worth breaking her body, breaking her? She was stealing. And then they say the store got the stuff. And the officers threw it down on the ground, threw them cuffs behind her back, broke her arm, and then sat inside the precinct and laughed at how they broke. Yeah, that's that snap. That's when I broke her arm and just smiling. People are sick. People, people void of God are sick. People void of God are sick. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it is, Jessica. It is scary in America right now. For people of color, but any color, law enforcement done lost their mind. So what we need to do, which is I think is going to happen, I think it's happening. They're not taking all day to pull these people off the police force. They're snatching them right now. They, they do something wrong, they land them off. You fired. And that's what they need to do. They need to go through, filter through, Get all the bad out. 
Just a closer walk with thee. Yes, ma'am, Linda. Yes, ma'am, Linda. Your grandfather's Amini. Amini, your grandfather something. Well, praise God. Praise God. Yes, just evil, girl. Put the D on the front of him. You spell his name. It's just evil. Put the D on the front of evil and you spell the name of who's doing all this stuff. And I just got finished reading. What was I reading? And he sent to win. He sent to win. See, I'm way ahead in my pre-reads. I'm way ahead. Job, 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 Job. Okay, it's 730. But I'm real, I'm way ahead in the pre-read. Let me show y'all what I just saw, what I just found out. I'm like, ooh, wait, 730. I'm gonna let y'all go. We wonder how all this, why God let all this stuff be happening. And in Job, Satan was given permission to do what he did, right? Satan tormented Job because God allowed him to. God gave him permission. You can't kill him. So what he did is he went through, killed his family, blah, 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 blah. Then it said, fire of God, fire of God has fallen from heaven and it burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I only I have escaped. That's when one of the servants came in Job, the first chapter in the 16 verses. And what God showed me was Satan did that. God did. It said the fire of God. It came from heaven, so you would think it's fire from heaven. Of God, it's fire from Satan, cause Satan presented himself before God up in heaven. He said, "Satan, what you doing up here? What you doing?" Cause Satan's job, his position is down on earth. He done been kicked out of heaven. He was an angel, but he's a fallen angel. So he asked him, "What you doing up here, boy?" He's all walking to and fro, seeking like a mess with. So Jesus just took out a moment to brag. Jesus, he bragged on Job. God bragged on Job. Amen. But I saw that. And I said, oh my God. So all, and then, okay, here's another thing. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness, tornadoes, hurricanes, all this stuff. There came a great wind from the wilderness, smote the four corners of the house, fell upon the young men, and they're dead. That's from the Satan. It's from the evil. It ain't from God. God just let the enemy have at it. But God don't be sitting in this destruction. He's the one to repair. He's a repair of the breach. Unless you done done something wrong. Then he allows the enemy to have at it. God tells the volcano, volcano, you don't have to stay down in that ground no more. Go on and spew as long as you want. God tells the water, you don't have to stay at bay no, no longer. I don't I don't protect these people on the on the coast and in the Florida and Houston's and all that. I don't protect them and they don't believe me and they don't cry out to me and they doing every damn old thing. Water, go ahead. Do what you want to do. And the water shoot just come all over the land. So we better try to repent. Come back to our Father, our Creator. Do the right thing. So our land can be healed and we can live in peace. And we can live in peace. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay, it's 733. I love you guys. Thank you, y'all, for entertaining me, for listening to this little woman. I appreciate y'all, Linda. I look forward every day to see my sister, Linda. Felicia. Felicia left over here. She came over here to Facebook. Praise God. I'll be looking for y'all. I'll be you guys are my family. You guys keep me going because I'm inside. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going outside. My husband, he done went and worked another job a day. And he gets groceries and do whatever he got to do. Are you political? No, I'm a child of God. I ain't political, Harry. I'm a child of God, and I'm for righteousness, whatever's right. I'm not for no political affiliation. We try later. Praise God. So I'm just, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. Harry, I'm just a nobody. Trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save everybody. Thank you, Savage Love. Thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Good night, good night, good night. Alexa, play my song, Encourage Yourself. So as I let you go, I want you all to be encouraged. Play Encourage Yourself from your library on yeah. Amazon Music. Encourage Yourself. You can get this song anywhere where... Uh, songs are sold on the on the thing. My song is out there. Encourage Yourself by Pamela Dobbs. I think it's 99 cents. I get a penny from it. <laughs> Encourage Yourself. Get the song. And bless yourself. I ain't get no money from it. 
get the song that God gave me to bless you, to bless you on now you, to encourage yourself. Amen. Praise God. Get the song, Harry. I love you all. God bless on tomorrow. Praise God. Encourage yourself in the blood of Jesus. Encourage yourself. Takes care of the sparrow, and they don't have to worry to eat. All right, Instagram today, you're on. Good night. And they have plenty, don't you see? We walk by faith and not by sight. For you cannot see. Okay, this is my backup. Facebook will be my backup when I download and redo it. Anybody that comes through the broadcast and want to be a blessing to the ministry, you can send your donation to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson. Paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson and or dollar sign Mama Pam 23. Till the next broadcast, I love you. Encourage yourself.